Oil and gas is a highly technical industry with vast employment opportunities for qualified personnel. As Uganda moves towards the production phase of oil and gas, the need for competent and internationally certified skilled labor is paramount. The skills that our people need not entirely driven by academia, but what can they do? Government being a key player has taken the bull by its horn, setting up oil and gas related institutions such as the Uganda Petroleum Institute in Chigumba. A student that, that has come from A level uh, does not have any background um, of engineering. So most often they have to practice, practice. So with the time, definitely their, their work pieces become worthy, uh, pieces that can be tested and pass. Um, the test. Unlike most tertiary institutions in the country, whose courses are commonly theoretical, at UPIC the emphasis is on hands-on skills. The oil and gas industry is expected to create at least 160,000 jobs, of which 75% will be skilled labor. What is your expectation of the training here? So, the biggest thing is being employed at the pipeline construction project. Yeah, I need to gain that skill because to be on that pipeline, I need someone who is skilled. Okay? No, they not pick someone who completed the primary fund to start. So that's why I'm here. As UPI continues with its noble cause, it is appealing for increased resource allocation from government and support from the private sector stakeholders. We're going to offer a program uh, that's the downstream petroleum program targeting to support the refinery and the pipeline operation. So we really need that cooperation, we need the collaboration, the partnership, so that some of these programs uh, uh, enhance, we have the capacity, capability to deliver the requirements of the industry. Uganda Petroleum Institute Chigumba admits about 30 students annually, but this number of trainees is in stark contrast with the projected human resource needs of the industry and begs the question of whether the country has the capacity to churn out the numbers required. Dennis Igoa for UBC News.